Just got done teaching the uh, Women's to Intro Defensive Firearms course and wanted to take a moment and reflect on uh, the value of a woman trained properly in firearms for defensive purposes. Uh, I think there's a lot of value with that, uh, particularly to, to women with regards to their own personal defense. Um, and that seems to be a, a very uh, hot topic for women because uh, from, a, from a factual standpoint, women have a concern about their personal safety out there in just, just the, uh, the public because their attacker is going to be typically somebody bigger and stronger than they are. Uh, and that is something that, that obviously gives them concern. And a, a woman properly trained in firearm has that equalizing moment with regards to that encounter because if they can properly employ that firearm, that differential in size, weight, speed, whatever, um, can be equalized by the proper use of that firearm. However, um, there's another aspect of, of women's training, or even anybody's training, but particular to this, this topic of conversation, uh, is the mindset issue. Uh, and one thing that's, that I see a lot of is that a lot of folks with, with no malintent or uh, a fault of their own they, they train in a firearm, they train in the basics of firearm, you know, how to pick it up, how to shoot it, how to put rounds down range. Um, but we never go deep into the mental depth of what it takes in order to properly defend oneself. Uh, and what I mean by that is really thinking about the, the ugly things uh, that may need to happen in order to properly uh, to defend yourself. Uh, and that being said, where you have a larger attacker that may be in close proximity to you, and before uh, you can get to your firearm and properly employ it, it might mean that you, you need to fight your way hand to hand in order to get distance to use that firearm, or uh, you might need to actually squeeze that trigger, or while you're squeezing that trigger, your attacker still has some fight left in him or her, and they actually close the distance on you in that case. So there's many different scenarios uh, that plays out, but with regards to the uh, mental uh, toughness, mental fitness of a woman properly trained in firearms, I think that uh, a woman who is properly trained in not only the skill set and technique of a firearm, but also the mindset aspect of it is a very, in a, in a positive way, very dangerous thing, dangerous for their own safety because they're, they are on the same playing field of their attacker and perhaps having an upper hand. So I think a woman properly trained uh, on firearms or, or with a firearm uh, is a very, very powerful thing. It not only is a uh, powerful thing, but it is a confidence booster. It gives them the knowledge and the peace of mind that they can handle pretty much any encounter that comes their way. Um, and and that's, that's a great thing. And, and, and women need to have that. Um, because uh, unfortunately, again, as we as I mentioned, um, they're typically attacked by somebody bigger, stronger, and things like that. Um, and women need that. Women need uh, to have that equalizer. Now, this is nothing to take away from from women who are either bigger or highly trained with their hands and, and things like that. That goes with with anybody. But when you are um, of a different size uh, and weight of your opponent, that equalizer, regardless of gender, is a very, very important thing and a very, very powerful thing.